Hello YouTube, this is Ambi again and we are going to talk about Python input and output. So let's talk about them, right? So let's, uh, well, let's do things differently. This is idle. Uh, it's your integrated IDE. I have increased the font. If you don't know how to do it, go to options, configure here uh, to, I chose 34 so that you guys can see what I'm typing. Uh, should I make it this way so that I can see better? I think this is better. All right. So uh, first we want to uh, do the first thing that any programmer teaches you is how to print hello world. Hello world. All right. But what if I just type this? Right? Hello world. So this is an interactive shell. Uh, this will uh, print out whatever that you type. Uh, let me show that to you here. Okay, oops. I sh let me show that in the IDE, which has an interactive shell and a coding. Right. right, so here I will say hello world syntax error because I have to enclose everything that I type if it's a string into a single or double code. So hello world comes up here again about if i type here hello world and press f5 nothing happens right uh so uh, that's a difference now okay so hello world then what is another way of doing it so i want to store hello world into a variable then i want to print a see what happens hello world uh, notice here uh, i'm not enclosing this variable into um, any double or single quotes because it is a variable damn it not a string so that's why i'm doing this uh, let's do another way hello b equals world we are going to assign b value of world now let's type so what are the ways of doing it this is not the way. Again, this is not the way. This is the way, but not recommended. Uh, this is not an industry's best practice. Uh, if you do this, uh, I mean, if you're attending an interview or something, and if you do this, consider yourself as a last option. I mean, but I mean this works, uh, but not recommended. You know, uh, let me, uh, and I'll put this here. Hello world, uh, a equals hello, b equals world, print a, comma b. I would say works, but not an industry. Uh, not a best practice not a okay so press f5 hello world another way of doing it here is a plus space plus b f5 hello world hello world so both worked awesome then i'm gonna go for another way that is the recommended way of doing it so whenever you want to start uh, type or print something uh, especially if it's a string uh, wherever you want to put variables right you just put uh, now um, these curly brackets with empty space and then say dot format and inside bracket you just say a comma b f5 uh, what if i say b comma a f5 world hello so i don't want that i will go back to how it was so now um so this is done what about input okay so let's do that name well first let me put these comment this out whatever that you put between uh, three single quotes is a multi-line comment it will be neglected by the interpreter or uh, the script python will consider it not for execution so i will say name input what is your name 
sire. Okay. And I'm gonna uh, print name here. So it asks my name. I say Ambi, and it print it prints Ambi. But I want to do more than that. So what I'm gonna do here is print hi, and I will do this. So this dot format Ambi. Right, and uh, F5, and MB. Oops, did I do something wrong? What did I do? I format, it's correct. Oh, name MB is not defined. Oops, okay. All right, let me run it again. What is the name, sire? I say MB. All right, so <laughs> instead of uh, putting the name of the variable, I was just putting my name. So that's where I went wrong, and that is not what you're not uh, what you're supposed to do. I mean, that is not what you're supposed to do. Yes. So this is how uh, you take input, uh, use it, uh, process it, and give output. So that's all we had for input and output. Thank you for tuning in, and you have a great day. Take care.